everybody, this is Cindy with Monarch Mom DIY. I am here at the Big Sable Lighthouse in Ludington Beach State Park. And I just wanted to show you, milkweed is everywhere. And at this time of year, it's even flowered at the top. So it really makes this a one-stop shop for the Monarch because it can emerge from its chrysalis, find some of these flowers to get nectar from, and then lay its eggs on the underside of the leaves and then fly away and keep doing that until it dies. So I thought I would just look at some of these. I don't see a whole lot of chew marks on many of these leaves. Let's see, there's a little chew mark. seeing much here today but this is what the common milkweed looks like if you want to know if you have milkweed if you live in the Midwest somewhere um, go ahead and google it is there milkweed in your state all right guys I'll be back later to see if we can find some more caterpillars and eggs so of course right after I stopped filming that last segment I looked, see if you can see him. Mm, he's in the shade, hold on. This leaf, where my finger is. There he is. This little guy is in here eating away at some milkweed. I'm gonna leave him though because I don't really have anything to put him in for a while. Let's see. So he's there, so that means it's very possible there's some other eggs around here. Uh, not seeing any though. He might be a, a lone soldier. But anyway, wanted to show you that little guy that we just found. And we'll keep looking. to show you guys something new that I learned this week. I found this leaf and it had a bunch of what looked like monarch caterpillars on it, but I'd never seen that webby looking thing in the middle and I've never found more than like one or two caterpillars. So I did look it up and I found out that this is actually a tussock moth caterpillar. They are laid in a web of a bunch of eggs and they do destroy milkweed. So not the monarch caterpillar jackpot. Usually you will only find one or two like this on a leaf at a time. So just something new that I learned that I wanted to pass along to you. There's another little guy. Just kind of giving you an update on the different sizes of caterpillars that I have right now. I have all different sizes. I even still have some eggs. Here are some larger ones. They're not quite as active during the daytime. This one's kind of going to town on this leaf though. So what I'm leading up to is the big thing I wanted to show you this week. A caterpillar going from the larva stage to the pupa stage. Here we go. So as I've said before, once the caterpillar is done eating enough milkweed, it will go up and attach itself by its feet to the top of a branch or leaf or these containers that I have them in. And you will notice that the antenna get very shriveled up as they're getting ready you can see the body of the caterpillar um, moving and kind of, it looks like filling up, filling out. I'm not exactly sure if that's um, some sort of liquid, but I do know that the chrysalis has already formed inside the caterpillar's body at this time. And what I'm trying to film for you here is the chrysalis the pupa stage actually emerging, there you can see it, 
the caterpillar's skin is opening up and the pupa stage is emerging. Um, I thought this was fascinating. Some of you might think it's gross, but I just think it's so cool to know that the chrysalis has already been forming inside the caterpillar's body and this is now its final molt from the larva stage into the pupa stage. I actually have this sped up about three times its normal um, speed, just so that you could kind of see it happening a little faster. Um, I'm looking at it from the back there. I can kind of give you a little more of a side angle, but you can see those antennas. It's, it's shimmying so that um, it's shedding all of the caterpillar skin and then towards the end here you'll see it's going to kind of twist a little bit just to make sure that all of that caterpillar um, skin body whatever you want to call it that it's no longer using it's shedding its old self falls to the ground and it doesn't have eyes so it's just making sure that it's all just freely hanging there and then in about 30 minutes to an hour, this will completely harden to look like this. And this is how it will hang for about a week or so, week to 10 days before the butterfly emerges. That is what I'm hoping to show you in next Monday's Monarch Monday video. I hope you guys are all enjoying these. Um, my kids and my husband think I'm a little strange. They think I'm a little obsessed with the monarchs but I just love watching God's creation up close and I will see you all next time. Thanks so much. Please remember to subscribe to my channel either for monarch videos or for home decor DIYs and planner videos. Thanks so much. See you next time.